Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Wadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the Rechach, Wadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So just a real quick um, <laughs> uh, a video I just came across entitled, Is Hair Loss a Symptom of COVID-19? And, you know, it's like every other day there's a, a new symptom, all right, or, or a new side effect of this uh, so-called virus, man. You know, uh, this virus that is supposed to be like in the two, you know, the influenza, all right, the flu virus. But here it is that this this thing is doing a whole bunch of other of other, um, you know, have a whole bunch of other side effects, man. And, and one of the side effects is, uh, as this video is going to show you, is, uh, you know, uh, um, losing loss, loss of hair. And, you know, when I immediately saw this, you know, I just thought about how the Lord, you know, said he was going to bring. Uh, uh, the, the pride and haughtiness of this place uh, low, okay? And, you know, a thing about hair, especially on women, women take pride in their hair, all right? And, and that's actually a uh, a uh, uh, an, an innate an innate thing, you know, for women to want long hair, okay? You do have now, okay, because we're living in this perverse and bugged out uh, uh, age where you have women, you know, cutting their hair off, and especially our women, you know, the, the women of the tribes, OK, uh, you know, cutting their hair off or shaving half of their hair, hair or getting short haircuts. All right. You know, let alone, you know, speaking about the whole dying of the hair. All right. And things of that nature. But you, you do have women of the other nations that they have, you know, they cut their hair as well. Um, but now, now the Lord is actually having it to where uh, women hair, you know, whoever gets this, whoever contracts this uh, virus. OK, uh, uh, the women hair are falling out, you know, it's falling out of their scalp, man, as they, you know, as they brush their hair, you know, they put it in a ponytail. If they, you know, take a shower, you know, they just have a, a, a massive amount of hair just, you know, continually just coming out. And that's the Lord, you know, bringing, you know, the, the, the haughtiness and pride of, you know, specifically the women of Babylon low. OK, and, and we know that especially the, the southern kingdom, Judah, you know, women don't even have that much hair to begin with. So if they get that this virus, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a, a, a lot of, um, you know, uh, hairless women going to be out here, man. So I'm just going to play this clip, you know, real quick. And, 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 you know, like I said, when I watched this, you know, I laughed, man, because this is definitely, you know, a, a plague that the Lord is bringing upon uh, specifically Babylonian, uh, the women of Babylon. OK, you know, uh, the especially and, and it's not just women of Babylon, really. It's really women all across the world because this pandemic is um, global. All right. This this virus is global. So that means that there's people all across the world that is um, that is experiencing this uh, a side effect. OK, losing the loss of hair. OK, and like I said before, well, like the scripture says that I'll just get that real quick before I play the clip that um, I, uh, first Corinthians 11 verse, I start at um, 14. It says, I'm going to start at 13. It says, judging yourselves, is it calmly that a woman pray unto the most high uncovered? All right. Because when a woman is supposed to pray, you know, your, her hair, her, she, her, she's supposed to have a, her hair wrapped. Okay. That's why when you see even, you know, in the Middle East, okay, that you see a lot of women that, you know, are in Islam or, you know, whatever, OK, uh, uh, they have their hair covered or right? they have their head covered because that's how the women in the ancient world conduct themselves. They were shame faced and they covered themselves up. All right. Unlike how you see women now with, with their body, their, their private parts exposed. OK, you just had that that video come out, that song with uh, um, Cardi B and uh, Megan Stallion talking about WAP. All right. And, and that's what gets glorified in this place. But the Lord is about to turn your glory to shame, man. All right. And, and a lot of women. Okay, specifically of our nation, they are very prideful, man, and they and, and they and they actually take pride in their pride. All right, they they boast themselves in being, you know, shameless. Okay, so it says, um, "Do if not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him." 
okay? Because, you know, a man isn't supposed to have, you know, super long hair like like a, like a like to a woman, okay? If you see a man with uh, long hair, you know, uh, uh, it's, 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 going to be, it's going to be problematic for that person, for that man, you know? It's, it's going to be more, more of a problem than, you know, a benefit if a man has super long hair. Now, of course, you know, brothers have froze, right? you know, certain brothers got braids, things of that nature, all right? But it's always, you know, things have to be done in moderation, okay? Women are supposed to have long hair, all right? Back in the ancient world, our women's hair, you know, came down to the, to the you know, calves, man, okay? It came all the way down their back. All right, but the Lord cursed our women, okay, especially I'm talking about the women of the southern kingdom, all right, to where now, you know, they got tennis ball, <laughs> you know, their hair look like a dirty tennis ball, man. All right, going on verse 15, it says, but if a woman have long hair, it is her, it is, to like it. <clears throat> if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering, you see? So a woman having long hair is a glory unto her. But the Lord, once again, is taking the glory of that man, of a woman, which is her hair. Okay, just like how the Lord took the glory of a man, you know, uh, speaking about Israelite, which is the glory of a man is a woman. You know, that's why we just, you know, uh, uh, men and especially, you know, of our nation and, and, and it's truth. You know, certain men do have women of understanding, you know, that deal with them. You know, we deal with them on certain levels, but it's not like how it's supposed to be. Okay, uh, majority of our women are not, you know, uh, uh help help meets man helps unto unto us okay they don't they don't benefit or, or make us better all right or, or or should i say uh um they're not pillars of rest okay so uh let me get this uh video you see what's going on here and this is a famous uh i believe it's a famous actress melissa melissa something it's going to say it. It's a disturbing side effect of COVID-19, losing clumps of hair. It happened to Alyssa Milano. So what's going on? I just wanted to show you the amount of hair that's coming out of my head as a result of uh, COVID. Alyssa Milano is revealing her struggle with a distressing side effect of COVID-19. One brushing. This is my hair loss. From... COVID-19. <laughs> Wear a damn mask. Alyssa is not alone. Ever since I got COVID, my hair falls out like it's nobody's business. Other recovering COVID patients are taking to Woo! social media, sharing their upsetting hair loss. I could pull out hair right now. Ugh. <laughs> 54-year-old Teresa Cabrera was hospitalized with COVID-19 in April. I'm feeling it. Here she is on the road to recovery, taking her first steps with a walker. Then the hair loss started. It sheds all day long. If I Ugh. put it up in a ponytail, it comes out. If I brush it, it comes out. It just, in the shower, it comes out the most. Mounds come out, mounds. Teresa used to have thick and curly locks, but check out how much hair she lost the night before our interview. I brush my hair and all this comes out. So what's going on? Dermatologist Dr. Angela K. Lamb says it's not technically a direct symptom of the coronavirus. It's actually brought on by stress. It's really caused by a condition that we know about in dermatology where people lose their hair after a stressful event and a virus is a stressful event. But there is hope for people experiencing COVID related hair loss. The hair does grow back, thankfully. You will get your hair back usually within about four to six weeks. This is my hair loss from COVID-19. So my thing is what that doctor said, you know, we know these doctors are physicians of no value. Um, if it's a, if it's due to stress, then women's the women should be uh, hair should be falling out all the damn time, man. <laughs> because women are stressed, you know, uh, the most stress stressful uh, people. Okay, most are medicated and highly stressed. All right, and this isn't the only virus, you know that 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 is out here. You have you have uh, uh, the flu. Okay, you that why is that not a side effect of you know why is this not being talked about when somebody gets the flu? Okay, because that's that's a virus and you know that's stressful as well. And it goes to show you, man, that these devils are doing things. <laughs> this COVID, this this pandemic, all right, this uh, uh, COVID nineteen is definitely you know uh, 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 scientifically orchestrated, man. Because you have also they saying that uh, kids who uh, who get the who get the uh, um, who get this virus, 
that there's there's been uh, uh, there's been talks of uh, brain brain issues, okay, neurological problems, okay, uh, 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 you know, breathing problems down the line. So hey, man, hey. <laughs> But the, but the fact is that what the Lord is is, is bringing a haughtiness alone, man. Because if your glory, of which a woman's hair is a glory, and that's being taken away, okay, that's you just seeing it just fall out day by day. You know <laughs> what's going to happen, man? You're you're going to lose you're going to lose that uh, a sense of um of of pride, man. All right, let's see. Let me get this in uh, the book of second uh, the book of Isaiah chapter two, verse. 11 it says the lofty looks of a man okay a man or a woman shall be humbled and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down and the lord alone shall be exalted in that day for the day of yahweh of hosts for the day of yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low okay now we know that you know these plagues all right and these are things that the lord is bringing and these last days are only going to intensify. It's only going to get worse and worse. So what do you think, you know, if this is happening right now with this, you know, pandemic, what do you think is going to happen as time goes on, man? And that's why women are going to be, you know, begging for a man to uh, uh, to, to, to deal with them. Because women are going to be out here looking crazy, man. You know, half your hair just falling out your head and, and smelling and, you know, just not looking appeasing. Ain't nobody going to want to deal with you. <laughs> this is Isaiah 32 verse 9. It says, rise up. You women, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many days and many and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled. All right, yeah, and you see, you know, uh, those women that was giving their testimony, all right, giving their accounts, I should say, you know, they see, they, they looked very troubled and perplexed, man, because, like I said, man, a woman takes pride in their hair, this is their glory. And if you waking up and you just having clumps of hair, you brushing your hair, going to the uh, bathroom, you know, taking a shower and there's clumps of hair just falling out, your pride, you, you, there's no lofty looks in that day, man. Are you going to be troubled? It says, you careless one, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right. And, and as you see that this, th this thing is coming upon, you know, uh, these other nations as well, man, because the Lord said that, you know, all the curses that came upon our woman is going to come, you know, our nation is going to come upon you know, these other nations as well. So, so a part of that is these other nations, they're going to be losing their hair too, man. All right, because this is, uh, let me get this in uh, the book of Isaiah, the third chapter. Um, It tells you that one of the curses that the Lord put onto our woman was hair loss, all right, baldness. Isaiah 3, verse uh, 17, it says, Therefore the Lord will smite the scab of the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. All right, and smiting, smiting the scab, all right, meaning the, the, the top of your hair, that's what baldness, man. Okay, and that's baldness, and that's why you have a lot of our women, you know, especially like I said of the of the northern tribes, uh, they're bald. I mean, so like of the southern tribes, all right, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, they have short hair, man. Okay, because uh, of the curse, the Lord sm uh, smote them with a scab. All right, uh, verse twenty four says, and it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be a stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of a well-set hair baldness. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. Instead of a well-set hair baldness. And, a, and instead of a stomacher of a, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Okay, so that was right there was one of the curses. All right, instead of a well-set hair baldness. Okay, so and, and this shows you that this is happening, you know, uh, now is affecting these other, other women as well, man. These other nations of women as well. So you're not in that there, you know, hey, you know, if you're not covered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, if you're not in this truth, you know, being a male, you know, or female, okay, <laughs> you're going to have, it's going to be some dark days ahead, man. All right. As Tupac said, you about to see, a, you about to, you know, see some things that's going to make it hard for you to smile. And this right here is testimony into that, you know, so with that, till next time, Shalom.